they killed my son David, tortured and destroyed him as we helplessly watched. But his fate was almost a mercy compared to the way they violated my poor wife, Emily. When they had finished their sickening games, they wouldn't even grant her the release of death. Instead, they changed her, turning her into one of them. A foul perversion of life. An unliving vampire. I hunt them now because they took everything from me. They destroyed my entire life. I have become a dark shadow, hunting the foul blood-sucking fiends through the night. They have always found a way to elude me, but now I finally have a chance to finish it. Tonight, my Emily, my family, will finally rest together in peace. discovered that Emily's flight into the sewers had not been an act of impulse, as I first thought, but instead was designed to further slow my pursuit of her. The plan, however, was undone. The ghouls whom she had hoped would focus intently on me turned to strike her also. Fresh to a ghoul, after all, is still fresh, regardless of whether it is living or dead.
Blossom, but wounded some arcane apparatus. I was able to track her course to the nearby docks. Once there, I observed my prey as she met with her sire, the vampire Kynos. Before boarding an aging steamship that was partway through receiving new cargo, the boarding ramps and the docks themselves were well guarded, and I didn't want to rush them, lest the surprise of my pursuit be I noticed the adjacent warehouse was stuck in the vessel. A crane was being used to load the ship, and if I could find a way up to the roof, it would also serve as my passage aboard. I would have to avoid detection inside the warehouse at all costs. What's on the ship? My hunt would resume. surroundings, I found myself to be in the ruins of a large monastery on a secluded island. By this point, I was tired of lurking in the shadows, and I decided to reveal my presence to my enemy.
As I made my way through the cemetery, I soon realized there was no respite. The loose ground at the base of a decrepit headstone began to stir, as their not-so-dead, but far from living inhabitants detected my presence. Myself wondering what it was that Kynas found so important to have established a permanent base of operations here. Whilst the flesh eaters were only a mild threat to vampires, their persistent attacks would surely be too much of an irritation to tolerate for any length of time. far too consuming for him to take any notice of a highly ordered message through the monastery. That, or he simply didn't care. Either way, once he realized I had made it to his sanctum, it was clear he was going to acknowledge me now. Ah! <laughs> 
discovered that I most hated enemy had a twin. They were centuries old and had been searching half their lifetime for a way to open a portal in the monastery's catacombs. In an act that would release some kind of demon upon the world. It seemed that in my quest for revenge I had unearthed an even greater threat to this world. I had to stop them. Apparently, Emily was nothing more than a pet to my captors. She was driven insane when they murdered our son and violated her. So when they finally turned her into one of their own, the sickness in her head was multiplied a thousand times. They decided to give me to her as a plaything, a humiliating end, they felt, for me to be killed by all that was left of my beloved wife. Once again, I found myself aboard that dreadful ship on my way back to London. I spent most of the journey unconscious in the hold, and awoke to find myself being held in some sort of asylum. I knew I had to find a way out. Luckily, my guards' incompetence was second only to their evil, and I was able to free myself. They only left me with a lantern, so I could see the remains of the other victims, but it served well enough as a weapon until I was able to find something more effective. Rearmed, but with the addition of the deadly silver bullets, I was ready to face the beast on more equal terms. Beast on more equal terms. It was the most horrific thing I had ever seen. 
But as the fire consumed her body, I knew that at last my dear Emily was free. However, even as the burn was lifted, I knew that Kynus and his brother Ranius would be starting their ritual soon. At this point, however, I still didn't know where the monastery was. Once I managed to escape the asylum, I made my way back to the warehouse that the vampires had been using to store their supplies. I needed to search their shipping offices for any information regarding the location of the island. I had no idea how long I had left before they completed their ritual, so I couldn't afford to take any time. progress, the vampires had apparently hired more werewolf mercenaries. Once I had collected the map, I made my way back out of the building again. The monastery was located on a secluded island a few days ago, so there could not be any hesitation in my departure.
night, still with no idea what stage the twins were at in their ritual. I knew it was taking place in an ancient catacombs, and that it would obviously be well protected by the vampire's minions. But making my way down there at all was going to prove more difficult than I thought. Since I was last in the monastery, many ghouls had risen from their graves, and were now roaming the grounds. Oh. Oh. Oh.
by the time I entered the main chamber, I was too late. The ritual was over, and the portal was opening before my eyes. The twins seemed to have succeeded, and it was now up to me alone to finish this.
can rest in peace at last. My vengeance was satiated, and the world was safe. I'd thought about trying to find my life again, returning to an ordinary job and socializing with ordinary people. But all I have known for nine years is my war against evil. After the horrors I have seen, I cannot simply return to an ordinary living. There is still darkness out there, and there always will be. I may be one man, but I can make a difference. These creatures stole my life from me, so I will return the gesture in kind. I will become a reaper of the damned, and if they should manage to kill me in my crusade, then I can die knowing my family is waiting for me in peace.